Praise be Jesus Christ. Some of you are battling the battles of life, including spiritual battles, and you're asking yourself, why is it so brutal? Is it supposed to be so intense, so difficult? And this reminds me of an interview I watched years ago. Um, Someone was interviewing a young monk. I think he was an Australian monk on Mount Athos. Mount Athos is a peninsula in Greece, that is kind of separated from the world and there's a cluster, there's a society, you could say a kingdom of monasteries on this peninsula. They're they're, uh, Christian Orthodox monasteries. It might be the most holy place on the face of the earth. And they're interviewing this young monk and they're saying, oh, this place, it's like going back in time and it's so peaceful and you feel so close to God and it's so beautiful with the gardens and the ocean and the orchards and it's, it's such a, a wonderful, peaceful place. And the young monk kindly kind of responds saying, yeah, well, actually, this is an arena. Every monk you see on Mount Athos is in a brutal battle for his soul with the forces of darkness. We're spiritual athletes. We're spiritual warfares. And yes, this is a beautiful place with the presence of God and we experience peace here. But we also experience unrelenting warfare against the powers of darkness for the salvation of our souls. And so, again, I mentioned this to you. Are you in a battle? Is the battle intense? Are you wondering, is it supposed to be this way? I think it is. I think the nature of this life is we are called to fight the good fight, to keep running the race. Okay, St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, he says, Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and I train it. For fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. Viva Cristo Re.